Please help me welcome Lacey. And she took a fencing when she was 70, and 
she was able to ride her bike up until she was 100. Now, she also says that she was very calm, which is why she was named Calm Ed. Finally, we have George Rene Francis. George was 112 years old, almost 113 when he died. He too smoked for much of his life. He enjoyed a diet of pork, eggs, milk. He especially enjoyed pizza and lard sandwiches. <laughs> lard or lard? Lard. Lard. Lard sandwiches. And he was known to have a love of nature and was especially a good natured spirit. These people all had widely varying diets, vastly different geographical locations, different exercises, if any, and different genetics. So what did they have in common? What was the connecting thread? Well, Stomatis moritis, he, like many of the others living on the island of Icaria, lived in the moment. Jenny Comment was known for her calmness. Agnes Smenton had nothing to complain about. And George May Francis was an exceptionally good-natured spirit. They all do one thing. They enjoy each day. They have a positive attitude. They savor life. You see, the secret to health and longevity is not locked up in some yet-to-be-discovered plant in the Amazon. It's not determined whether or not you can run a marathon or how many green drinks you can drink. Your thoughts have as much or maybe even more say on your health than what you eat. When you feel depressed, you are 70% more at risk for catching a cold. Your mood, your immune system, is strengthened or weakened, depending on your mood. Studies from Harvard School of Public Health and the American Heart Association show that a positive mental attitude can greatly decrease your chance of a coronary heart risk, a coronary heart disease. When you're pessimistic about life and you have a hard time finding the silver lining, you're telling your body to react the same. Ken Butt, the executive editor of ARC, the magazine, it says that having a positive mental attitude is about believing in good times during bad. It's feeling grateful for what you have instead of lamenting what you don't. It's believing not simply that the positive outweighs the negative in life, but that we can create our own positive feelings and actions. We have the power to make ourselves happy. And it can also mean accepting limitations without surrendering to them. As Christmas approaches, and New Year's comes and goes. Remember to savor the time with your family and friends. Savor the food that you are enjoying and the company that you are enjoying it with. Be in the moment. Your outlook on life may have more say on your long-term health than whether or not you achieve your New Year's resolution. Thank you. Thought, but it's going to also say that's thought for food. Mm -hmm. <laughs>